What's up, YouTube family? It's Dave Stone again with another exciting and live episode of Develop Awesome Skills. Now today, we are going to be doing a video on how to make cold brewed Moringa tea from powder. Uh, the easy way. <laughs> so uh, that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. Um, oh, close that. <laughs> Move that. Move that. Move that. There we go. <laughs> so here's all the stuff. Okay, so I did this last night just so you guys can kind of see the process. I'm going to make make a batch today in a, in a one gallon jug. I cleaned this last night. So I got the new one gallon jug. I have some organic Moringa leaf powder. And this is the tea that I made last night. Um, I also have a little bit of cinnamon here, uh, some honey, a mug, and uh, one of these. Hey, what's up Leland? Thanks for tuning in, bro. Um, also, if you guys like, uh, Stevia is a good sweetener. I kind of like the green tea without sweeten sweetening, but uh, maybe I'll try it a little bit today with this, see, see what it tastes like. So, some Stevia. Hey, Chris Hand, how's it going? So we're making some tea today. So this is the Moringa tea after one day in the fridge. So here's how you make it, and I'm gonna test, I'm gonna test this and see exactly what it tastes like for you guys. Um, but this is how we do it. So what I, what I do is I grab a scoop. Now these scoops, they come out of the uh, protein, protein powders. I, we used to get them a lot. This is a 70 milliliter scoop. So I will take a whole scoop of this. This is, uh, if you take a whole scoop of that, that's about two and a half ounces. Um, if you take a whole scoop of that for a smoothie, it'll, it'll overpower your smoothie. But you can try, if it's too strong when you put this much in, you could, you could cut it in half. So basically what I like to do first is just put the powder at the bottom of the jug. Just put it in there and use this little handle thing. Just press it down. Make sure it all gets in there. And you wanna, basically, <laughs> this is it. This is the step, this is what you guys do. You put, put this Moringa inside of a jug and add water. Step three is putting it in the fridge and letting it cool overnight. And all of the sediment will settle down to the bottom. Just like that, you can see the sediment down here. And that sediment is used for a couple different things. So after we drink this tea, we can fill the bottle up again and it will uh, make another batch, a little bit lighter. But uh, we can fill it up a second time, make two batches out of one gallon, out of these two and a half ounces. The third, you could try a third batch. The problem with that is it'd probably be really, really light, but you can try it. So after you get done doing all that, you can do some stuff with the powder at the bottom. Now, if you use it three times, I'd probably say, you know, you could use it as fertilizer. So there's a couple ways you just take it, uh, put some water in it, shake up the jug whenever it's done and um, pour it on your plants. There's so much vitamins and minerals. Can we add some vodka? We gotta learn how to make a Moringa Martini. So let's work on that, Chrisanne. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna fill this up with water. I have an RO system right here. So I'm gonna let this fill up. Okay, while that's filling up, I'm gonna pour myself a glass and I wanna show you guys this. So the next day, there's a little bit of uh, foam on the top, but that's totally fine. So here's my little Pinocchio mug that my mom got me one year from Disneyland. Um, so, so you guys can see it. I'm gonna let you see what this looks like as it pours out. So it pours off the top. You bit all of the sediment will stay at the bottom. So you don't need to shake it up. Look back at your bottle. 
Thanks, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's still working. Just, it's kind of a little bit angled. So we're getting close. This is a very slow RO system. We're almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, boom. All right, so here it is, guys. This is what it looks like right after you fill it up. Cap it, and you're gonna wanna just shake, shake the heck out of it for a while. It sticks on the bottom, but that'll go away after it soaks in there for a little while. So really give it a nice shake. One quarter cup of apple juice instead of stevia perhaps would make it even more delicious. That's a really good idea, Christian. And actually, you know what I've also mixed with it is some lime um, or some lemonade. Uh, makes it really, really good. And you don't really need any sweetener after you do that. So from this stage, you just put it in the fridge let it sit there. If you're really in a hurry to drink it, you probably drink it in a few hours. Um, I usually leave it in there overnight because it's really, really good cold. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and we're gonna taste this one. <laughs> so I was talking about the powder at the bottom of the, the bottle. You can use this, if you use this one time for tea, at the bottom, ooh, lemongrass. ML 657, thanks for that. Yeah, that's a really good idea. You can use this sediment as fertilizer for your plants or a skin face mask. So uh, if, you apply it, if you apply it to your face, you would add a little bit of honey and a little bit of cinnamon, these two ingredients here, and, and then you'd mix it up and make a little container of it and you can put it on your face. Just saying, Kelly, it's high in antioxidants. It helps calm infl inflammation, also regulates blood sugar a bit. Exactly, Chrisanne. I'm gonna be doing, and actually, Chrisanne's uh, tuning in right now. She just told me yesterday I should be doing, a, I should do a video on what is Moringa. Like, everything about Moringa. So, uh, I'm definitely gonna be doing that. Um, I actually started building the list on that. Okay, so here's the tea. Sticks to the side a little bit. Yeah, it's good. You know, you can, if you want, you can strain this through one of those bags. Uh, have you tried with fresh leaves? Yeah. So the fresh leaves work a little bit different. The powder is the easiest way to make the cold brewed tea that I found. So here's some fresh leaves that are just harvested a few days ago and uh, they're dry now. So what I would do is I would take these and I would just crunch them up. Add some frozen fruit for ice cube. Chris Ann, you got such good ideas, I love that. Um, so you basically would just crush them up. You can also use a little coffee grinder. But then you can actually, if you like hot tea in the morning, you can drink hot tea instead of your coffee. Uh, or you can drink cold, cold brewed tea instead of your coffee. It definitely gives you energy. If you haven't had it yet, I, I really suggest having it. So what I'm gonna try here right now is I'm gonna put some stevia in here and see what it tastes like. I've never really been a big fan of stevia, just sweeteners in general, but sometimes you want something sweet. So. Not bad, actually pretty good. Oh, here's another really cool thing. It's a bonus for this episode. Moringa seeds. Add some almond coconut milk in the AM with cinnamon powder on the top. Chrisanne, we're gonna have to do a, a, a cookbook together. So those are great ideas. So I want you to see something here. This is like magic. It's magic after you get past the kind of a little bit uh, astringent taste of the seeds. So this is a very viable seed here. I could plant it and it would grow. But what happens when you eat it? Try moringa leaves, ginger, lemongrass, and some honey for, that does sound amazing, M. Mel. Um, that sounds really good. I do love ginger, and I think ginger mixes well. Lemon and lime both mix very, very well with moringa. So take your seed, instead of planting it, and eat it. 
coat all of your taste buds. Ooh. It's pretty astringent. It's got oil in it. All the moringa oil comes from the seeds. Coat all the taste buds in your mouth. And then for the next like hour, everything you drink will taste sweet. So if you don't want to put sugar in your tea or anything, have your regular tea. So if I taste this sweet tea now, it'll probably taste really sweet. Woo! Yeah, super sweet. Um, I'm just gonna try some of this regular bring it tea. Kids, don't try this at home. Your mom's, mom's gonna get mad at you. I'll save some for you, Leland. We'll make some next time you're out here. So, there it is, guys. Cold brew Moringa tea, the healthiest way you can make tea because you don't heat it up. So, you can, you just found the cure for not eating sugar. <laughs> exactly. Eat Moringa seeds. Um, and then after you eat, you know, it's kind of an acquired taste for the seeds, for sure. So, you know, if you pop, I know people who really like to eat the seeds. And I think you can probably get there after seed 20 or 30 that you eat. But in the meantime, everything tastes super sweet. And in fact, what it tastes like for real is it tastes like you went to Georgia and you went to a, uh, uh, like a, a good restaurant where they have their sweet tea. That's what water will taste like. That's what regular tea will taste like. That's what coffee will taste like if you, if you drink it after eating a Moringa seed. So I'm gonna drink my Moringa tea instead of coffee. And also, so I had a cough, cup of coffee I told you guys the other day when I was out at the land, uh, right before I went out there. And yesterday I had another cup of coffee. And yesterday I felt terrible the whole day. Like that coffee was like all acidic inside my gut. And usually, I mean, Chris Ann no, has known me for a long time. She can attest to how much coffee I used to drink. I mean, just a lot, <laughs> always, always a coffee cup in my hand. Um, Chris Ann is a powder more concentrated than the leaves. So, Kelly, I can answer that. I'm sure Chris Ann can too, but yes, one cup. So, one cup of uh, raw leaves is equal to one tablespoon of powder. So, basically, it is way more concentrated because all the moisture is gone. So, basically, all the nutrients are down, and that's why two and a half ounces can take, uh, make about two or three gallons of tea. Um, the, the, the regular leaves, um, when you dry them out, these ones, fresh leaves that are dry, it's not gonna make, you're gonna need a lot more leaves. But there's also ways to make tea with fresh leaves that aren't dry, and basically you would muddle them up. You'd take a lemon or a lime and you'd push them in and muddle them all up just like you're making like a mojito or something. And then you would um, take some hot water in one of these bad boys, and just pour it in there and let it sit for a while and then you can drink it and you can eat the leaves afterwards too so you can scoop them off with a spoon or whatever but uh all right guys that's my video today hope you guys go home get some moringa powder wherever you can and try it and see if it gives you some energy because uh i have a feeling you guys are going to get a lot of energy from this um, i have a few people that have been trying it recently now and they're saying they get energy so and i do too and it's not some jittery dropping buzz energy it's a Leland yeah I do I have a black charger here <laughs> so you left your charger at my house um, but it's a it's a smooth ramp into energy and it kind of just keeps going so five hour energy this is more like 12 hour energy and you can keep drinking it 30 day Moringa challenge is on, Chris Ann. Okay, so yeah, second day, right on. So yeah, this is what we, uh, Chris Ann also told me that I should be defining what this challenge is, and I think here's the challenge, guys. Eat Moringa every day, just try, either make some tea, and I'm gonna be showing you some different recipes over the next couple weeks on how to consume Moringa. If you have raw leaves, if you have dry leaves, the easiest way to get it right now is in powder form. You can go to Sprouts or Whole Foods. Uh, farmers markets usually have it. So um, 
Search around in your area to find some local moringa powder and see what you can do with it. You could spice, season your food with it. Just put it on some, if you eat meat, you can put it on your meat dishes. You can put it in some rice and make some green rice that's super hearty. You could scramble some eggs and put it on there. You know, you can add it with other spices too. So you add a little salt, a little turmeric, a little basil, a little garlic. All that kind of stuff goes super well with moringa. It's a very hearty vegetable uh, taste. Um, kind of like a, 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 between a spinach and a kale is my thing. But the tea is a very mild. It's kind of like a matcha. Um, matcha has a lot of, has a couple additional benefits that Moringa doesn't have, but Moringa is super, way more packed with vitamins and nutrients and minerals and phytonutrients and all that kind of stuff. There's more uh, polyphenols in Moringa than there is in red wine. So we got to figure out how to make some Moringa wine. So until next time, guys, thanks for coming. Thanks for tuning in. Really, <laughs> it's great to have you, Chris Ann, Leland, and Kelly, and uh, Mel. So um, all right, guys, well, if you have any uh, questions, comments, or anything, just uh, put it down below in the comment section. Hashtag, I want more Moringa. <laughs> Let's plant a million Moringa trees in five years, guys. I know we can do it. And um, if you like this video, give me a big green thumbs up. Share it on your wall, share it all over the place. Let's have everybody drinking Moringa tea in the morning instead of coffee and seeing how they feel. See how you feel. So let me know how you feel. If you try this and you're doing it, post some pictures on the I Want More Moringa Facebook group page and uh, let's make this happen, guys. All right, until next time, develop awesome skills. I love you all.